Good afternoon, YouTube. Today, we build the header. For the hood exit, we have a simple plan. I'm gonna use the header that came with the car. I'm gonna cut the bottom off the top half. And then I'm going to use my inch and three quarter header kit and build a hood exit. Time to get to cutting. So what we have here to build this hood exit is inch and three quarter piping kit and a inch and three quarter to a three inch collector. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the OEM head flange with the header that was on the car. We're gonna adapt and cut it and then we'll make a hood exit with it. And for those who are wanting to know, I took the old header with the two mufflers and the piping that was connected to it and I weighed it. The header with the two mufflers and the piping was 31 pounds. The new hood exit header should be about 8 to 10 pounds, so we're alleviating more weight there. I also installed the traction bar. I also installed solid motor mounts. So we took more weight off doing that. And I still have the front crash bar to remove. I still have uh, power steering lines to remove. And we're gonna remove more weight. So now I have the bottom of the header cut off. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna run it. I know I want it to come right here through this hole and come up out the hood about right here. So it comes out pretty much where this hole is right here. Um, I mean, that square is. So I did a video all the cutting and bending and welding and cutting and bending and welding and cutting and bending and welding, but I will show you what I came up with. Dipstick cl still clears. As you see, it's going to stick a little bit above the hood, so I'm going to have to, of course, trim the hood like I said earlier. Now I'm going to get a startup video for you guys. Hopefully we don't make 115 horsepower when we're done with this thing. Have a good night. 